Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Rolling Line and we are continuing the series on where today and today we are going to be building over here which is next to the desert which I've made some off-camera progress on as you can see there is a lot of buildings in it now kind of hotels some of the buildings I planned are here right now yeah so progress is made on here but today we are going to be working over here by the California area so the plans for this area is that this is going to be the Amtrak this is going to be an Amtrak station so I want to have a station building here we have a parking lot out here and this is all this right here is going to be the boulevard it comes over here and it's the highway it comes over here to the boulevard cross tracks are going to are going to be some semi-detached suburban homes well, I guess, yeah, fully detached it is Los Angeles. And then over here, it's just going to be some small, maybe office or commercial space. Coming down the cracks here, we'll head up into a more abandoned area of commercial space with a couple abandoned buildings and a bit more of this detached homes. Before we come over here to the industrial area, which will have a factory of some sort, being serviced by these sidings, which these cars are already on. And they're kind of like just blocking the way for. That's really all they're. That's so, yeah, today we're gonna be working over here with factories. Um, I do wanna start off really quick with just doing some basic ballast work. I do wanna grab this ballast that we have over here and turn off snap angle. Alright, grab the ballast and just quickly put all this down the main tracks very quickly There we go. Have most of that done, and I'm just gonna head up here and do it. That's pretty much all the track ballast for now. Oh, off here is just a little turnaround loop. Mm, okay, so we have that area around there. So now I have to ballast up through here. Over here is going to be a more greener desert. I don't know how you'd say that. I don't know if I. Yeah, I think I will. So we're gonna now we're gonna go here. Put in the representation of the Sierra Nevada Mountains, as they are literally around here. Not like that. Not to scale it. And yeah, Sierra Nevada Mountains are like big mountains on the west coast, because they're the secondary mountain range, you would say. Cause the Rockies are the main one. And then there's the Sierra Nevadas, which are in, mostly in California. These are the Sierra Nevadas. That's more generally located on the area in which we need to. I don't know how good this would look though. Maybe if I can pull this off right, get the rocky look of the Sierra Nevada, it would... I think that would work, alright. Now I just need to get the road barriers done. 
this area up to Sierra Nevada will still be desert, as that's what is, that's what it essentially is. Because this is because the way the desert works is that there are usually areas that are like cut off from much moisture from the mountain range. So we're gonna so the mountains are and then the desert in, in uh, Arizona and California is contained by the, Nev the Sierra Nevadas and the um, the uh, Rockies. So, the, the Sierra Nevada is really going to be the first name, and we're already going to have big, like, representation of the Rockies as the train will head through the Rocky Pass. But I think a nice, at least, notion to the Sierra Nevadas would be at least necessary. Especially with the way this is. And we didn't have anything planned, really. We didn't really have anything planned to go into here. Sierra Nevadas are also a very rocky mountain range. Like, but you think Rockies are pretty rocky, and they are. But like, I always know that Sierras are quite rocky. When it comes to the so we want to capture that as well. pretty good. Um, keep adding more rocks though I will. And then I do wanna ha I do wanna have a lot of the sort of pine trees that you see normally on there. I'm gonna come over here to this area, the Colorado area, and I'm gonna grab you because these look kind of like pines. They're the same shape of them, basically. I guess this would enter in around from like northern LA, LA. That's not a good idea. 
don't edit train and details at the same time, especially if you're having if you're using fake mountains. Uh, where's that? There you go. Add some of the more general desert stuff over here. I think I'll time lapse the rest of this. So I'm gonna time lapse finishing up the mountains and I'll be right back.
right, welcome back from the time lapse. And as you can see, a lot of progress we made on the entire mountain range. We have most of most of the actual mountains here tree covered. And I tried to make it so it wouldn't look too green from the desert, so you still get desert vibes, but I mean, it's a pretty big mountain range to Sierra Nevadas. But I do like what it looks like over here on this side, as you can see the tracks coming from the pass over to here and then down into the station. We're also going to have, we also have a siding over here, which is a, going to be a yard. Um, over, over here is the boulevard, and when I had any idea of what it was, in order to transform it to the desert, we're going to have a tunnel. And that's what I'm going to be building with you guys. And so now I'm just going to grab the props and let us begin building. So yeah, right now we're building a tunnel. It's going to be mostly made out of the shapes themselves. basics of the tunnel and you just need to run it into the environment and give it a color. Um, I think this should work as a nice grid. They hold the trains running today right now. Uh, yeah, you can see one of the UP container trains currently making its way. Out of the past. Which I don't know, maybe I should put a tunnel in over here? I don't know. Just so there's some separation between this guy. But it looks okay right now. So the tunnel comes in over here and then it comes out over here. So I need to that Now we need to somehow line these up. It has been a day or so since I recorded the first part. Uh, I thought... I actually... That looks better. Okay. It has been a... Like, this is the next day after since I recorded the time lapse. I did record part of the time lapse today. Ooh. Do you really need that? Yeah, we do. Alright, so this side needs to be edited. Because <laughs> we have part of the thing sticking through. So just be extracting this real quickly. Okay. I'm just gonna head back over to this side. Continue that on and then I finish up the tunnel itself. There we go. Nice tunnel. 
for the highway to pass through so that way there's a bit of a border and I just need want to edit the terrain so it's kind of contained. Ah, this one's lifted up. So we can make that map. Paint it the green. That's not it. That's not it. Nope. Um, this is it, I think? Yep, that's the green. Alright. And then, I guess I can paint this table real quick for the green as well. So that way we have some grass. Yeah, because all covered. Alright, so there's that. As you can see, we kind of have the transition. Now I just want to add in some more cover. Again, I'm going to use very basic, just trees. The conifer trees for now. As I don't want my PC to be dying. It does look really cool. The current state we have. Alright, now I just need to blend in the mountains a bit, and come down here, and, and grab some rocks. So I want to blend in these areas, that should be good. grabbing the rock. Just really quickly blend these thing this in. Ah, that doesn't look too bad. Alright. So there's that. I'm gonna add more trees down here. It's a bit blended. Alright, so there, there's the highway as it passes through the very realistically sized tunnel. Um, I think it might be smart to keep adding things like dozen tons. That way we cover up the gap so it looks more gradual or like further out. Nah, kinda. This isn't helping, though, however, we can fix that by right, trying to place like a uh, clone. It does kinda get rid of some of the rock work. Eh, no. I don't do that. Okay, so that's a lot of the mountains done with the border. Heading on over to here, as you can see, the table has been extended. We have more roads coming out this way from the station. And the yards over here, we're going to have a nice, hopefully good sized industrial yard over here. Which is where we can pick up all our trains. You can wish. Oh no. Okay, no. We have had no original matrix though. They all seem to disappeared. And the hopper train is nowhere to be seen. Oh god. Is it over here? Oh wow, it actually has disappeared. Yeah, I've been having problems. Rolling line seems to be like having engines di randomly disappear. As you can see, there was supposed to be one here, and then there's another engine supposed to be here. So like, whenever the engine goes in or out of render distance, it like disappears, which is weird. So I don't know what's going on there. I guess we can't really have trains running then. 
so that's not good. Um, I am gonna... I'm gonna clear the siding up. There's a lot of the um, yard complete. And we're gonna have to build something over here. I don't know what I want to do here. An area between, because the industrial facility shouldn't be that big. And yeah. So. Bye for now. Um, thanks for watching episode 2 of the Long Lang series. And so long.